So this evening I started some basic mending in an effort to clear off the massive mound of mending that's over there that needs to be done. Um, and to have this Christmas dress to, you know, maybe be able to wear for Christmas. Um, so what was wrong with it was the zipper was broken. This, this bit of the zipper here. So the plan with this was, this dress, was to wear it on, on top of a blouse. So you would have the white blouse showing and it's like a jumper dress. Um, and the zipper got stuck in the blouse and it wouldn't go up and it wouldn't go down and I couldn't get the leverage because it's an underarm zipper and so I asked for help. I broke it. It, it was the only way to get me out of the dress. So it broke. So I had to pull the zipper off and frantically change clothes as we were already late for our Christmas Eve engagement uh, last year. It was a good time. So I was finally getting around to putting the zipper back in it because why would I need a snowflake dress if it's not Christmas? So then I tried it on and I realized it fits really well and I really like the way that the bodice fits but there are some things with things with the pattern that I wanted to change. And this is the original pattern. And I just thought this process might be interesting to vlog. Um, this is the front bodice piece and this is the back bodice piece. And I just pulled a skirt pattern that I have from elsewhere uh, from a, a big four pattern. And I, I draped these on the dress form and fitted them and they fit really well, but I wasn't really happy with um, the way that it came out. So one thing led to another and now here I am cutting out my modified pattern pieces. So what I did to modify this is I just, this is the front piece. So you can see here's the old front piece. Um, I changed the neckline. This one is much more squared off and I extended the strap a little bit to make this longer and I extended it on the bottom because the waistline, uh, my dress forms waist, this, this actually sits really nicely on the dress form because that's what I draped it on, but it is much more short waisted than I am personally and it ends up hitting really weird. So I just extended it by just a little bit. Um, and then for the back piece, again, this is, this is the difference, the original and the new one. You can see I just squared off the neckline and moved the strap so it was narrower. And I also um, am not, not, not doing an underarm zipper again. That was a disaster. It will have a back zipper. So I'm adding seam allowance to allow for a back zipper. Um, so there is extra seam allowance here on this edge from where this is cut on the fold. Um, this is cut, I'm gonna cut it on the selvage of the fabric so that I don't have to worry about finishing what's under the zipper or it fraying and getting stuck because that is honestly the bane of my existence. Um, and uh, there will be enough fabric between these two pieces uh, for me to have a mask because it's the time of the plague. And what do we do with our leftover fabric? We make masks. That's what we do. All right, I will check in once I have my pieces cut out and I'm making decisions about the skirt and the necessary pockets. All right, so this is where we are this evening and I feel bad, I forgot to introduce you. This is Daisy, my dress form. Um, and I should explain. Uh, Daisy and I are, are not, not the same size, not even close. Um, so this dress form is adjustable, but it's hard plastic and humans are not. And in order to get the bust and hip to where I need them to be, uh, ratio wise, the, the waist has to expand because the plastic isn't that flexible. 
Um, and so the, me the measurements are not right. Um, and if you are not perfectly proportioned to the way that this dress form is set up, it's not gonna fit you. Um, so it is still taking some trial and error, so this doesn't fit perfectly on Daisy, but it does fit me, and it looks really nice. Um, so I'm pretty happy with that. I need to sleep on it tonight, though, because uh, I need lining, and I don't know what I'm going to use for the lining, so I have to dig through my stash to find that. And while I think that might be entertaining for some people, I am not going to subject you to that because it is kind of a mess and there's a lot going on. Um, so once I have the lining fabric and I have it cut out, I will decide on skirt and I will probably use the lining of the bodice fabric for the fabric for the pockets just to preserve the fabric. I only had like two and some change yards of the skirt fabric, so I want to make sure I have as much as possible to make the skirt. I think I might even just pleat the skirt and not worry about um, a pattern or cutting circular, like a circle skirt, because that generates a lot of waste. And I want to use all of this because I got it last year. No, I didn't even get it last year. I got it several years ago. Um, and I really like it and I haven't been able to order an, order any more of it. So I want to make use of what I have. Anyway, uh, I will check in again tomorrow. Okay, so I lied. Uh, I'm not going to bed. Uh, sleep is for the week. Uh, I'll sleep when I'm dead. I'm um, looking at the skirt and I did decide to pleat it. And here's what I'm looking at. Uh, the... Waist of the bodice comes out to 39 and a half inches, uh, and that includes the seam allowance at the back. So I'm just taking what I have left of the fabric, uh, and I have measured off. There's my zero line here, and I have measured off on my mat 39 and a half inches, and you can see this is kind of an approximation because uh, this is where these two mats join, and that's about an inch. But yeah, you know, there 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 are no rules. You do you. Um, and I'm gonna tape it down, and I'm gonna pleat it. And I have no formula for this. So you're just looking at a mat. You don't need to do that. I have no formula for this. There is no rhyme or reason. I'm just gonna pleat it till it looks right and I'm happy with the result and that's what we're gonna do and I will baste it down uh, and we'll see what happens. I will check it. So I figured out what I'm doing and I thought I would uh, share with you. Um, so in pure cast fashion, I can't ever do anything 100% chaos. So what I've done is I've marked the halfway point and that's about the center of my fabric. And then I have come out about two inches and done, or about an inch and done a pleat. Uh, and it's a one inch pleat, so you can see that this is all folded over on itself. There's a pleat there, and then I come over two inches, and I did another pleat, and then I went over two inches, and I did another pleat, and I did that all along this side, and you can see that they are, uh, there's a big old box pleat at the front, front that just keeps everything laying flat, um, where, where you don't want it to not lay flat. Um, it doesn't emphasize any uh, pooch or anything, which is nice. Um, that's the other nice thing about pleats as opposed to uh, gathers, is gathers tend to be, especially at the waist, real bulky, and pleats just lay really nice and flat. And then 
I did the same thing all along here. And this last pleat here is a little bit bigger because there was some extra fabric here, but that's cool because you can't tell because it's evenly spaced. And then this will be, there will be a half inch here where there's the back seam. All right, so I'm gonna go finish that side uh, and then I will check in. It was way off. It was off by like six inches on the one side, so I had to find the exact center, and we start again. Hooray. Friends, we have achieved pleating success. Here we have, again, the pleated skirt. There's the point where I marked the center-ish of the fabric and I came out and did that same box pleat and then I went over one inch and then did a one inch pleat and I went over one inch and did a one inch pleat. So you can see there's three inches in each pleat in one inch of space but it's taking two inches to take up or to it's traveling an inch of just single layer fabric and then there's three inches of fabric in here. So this will give me some nice fullness all the way down the skirt. And I'm just gonna use the full length because I'm a weirdo and I like long skirts. So I'm gonna just use the full length of that and just turn it up and do the hem. And that should give me a nice long dress, which, which has a side benefit of not needing to shave your legs. So, I'm all in, especially for a Christmas dress, because it's winter, and it's cold, and ain't nobody got time for that. I'm going to bed. Hello friends. It is a new day, and I just wanted to check in. Uh, I have started hand sewing, hand basting the pleats down, uh, but that's going to take some work. That is it from me uh, and my update. I am entirely too old to be staying up past midnight on a night when I have to be up to go to work in the morning. Uh, zero out of ten. Do not recommend. Don't do it. All right. Good night. Good morning. Today is Wednesday. It is Veterans Day. Happy Veterans Day. Uh, if you have served our country, uh, bless you. Thank you. Uh, so I wanted to touch base about a couple of things. First of all, I was able to hand sew down all the pleats and I have picked out from my scrap bin this white uh, lightweight gauzy cotton. There's a lot of it in the scrap bin and I don't remember what it's from so we're gonna use it as the lining for this dress and as the pockets. Uh, also just wanted to touch base and my battery is dying. Okay. I have switched over to the phone camera because the battery on the camera camera has died. Um, so we are potentially on day one of 14 day quarantine because one of Emma's classmates has tested positive for COVID. So yeah. This Christmas dress is not going to be worn for Christmas photos. Neither is the other one that I just fixed because we had to cancel our Christmas photos because time of the plague. It's fun. Anyway, uh, I'm going to go drink some more tea because it's going to be a long 14 days. All right. So progress has been made. I have sewn the lining into the top part. And now I am going to be pinning the skirt to the bodice, uh, to the edge of the bodice, and I'm going to be stitching that down. Uh, you can see this is the edge of the bodice here. Doo -doo 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 -doo. And I'm just going to pin this down. And if I did my job correctly, then this end will line up with this, and the other end will line up with this and we won't have any extra. Uh, and then I can put the zipper in the back and then there's a 
whole lot of hand sewing that's going to have to happen because I'm going to have to hand sew the lining to the inside and I'm going to have to hand sew the lining to the straps because that's how I was able to flip this right sides out is to leave that open. Um, and then it's the hem. And then we have a dress, in theory. I'll check in with you in a little bit, see how it goes. Alright, so we just did a fitting. I put in the zipper and we did a fitting and I'm wearing a sports bra so this is gaping a little bit so I'm gonna have to change. But this is what it looks like in the front. And then I'm going to set you up on the tripod, Let's see if I can get the back situation. This is what it looks like in the back, and there's the back seam with the zipper, and my invisible zipper is not invisible, but it'd be what it do. Um, yeah, so I'm going to go have a mandatory fitting dance party with my two-year-old to Disney songs that are copyrighted that I don't want to get flagged for, um, and then change into the appropriate bra and do another fitting. All right, so we're back and we're wearing the appropriate undergarments and there's less gaping here. There's still a little bit, but I think what happened was I had to pull this seam out because I'd stitched the lining in wrong and I think it stretched a little bit when I was doing that. But also I cut the neckline too far out instead of cutting the arm side in to make the straps narrower. So on the pattern I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna mark that this needs to come in about an inch on either side and then this needs to come in an inch but I didn't want to mess with the arm side because these are hard to change especially when you're doing it by yourself but it fits pretty nicely and I plan on wearing a shirt under this which is why I'm fitting it with a shirt under it um, so uh, the next step is to pull out the basting threads and figure out what I'm gonna do with pockets I'm thinking either I'm gonna put pockets in these side pleats. These are not seams, these are just pleats. So I would unfold it and put a pocket there uh, so that it's hidden in the pleat or put patch pockets on the front in a contrasting color. Uh, I have to decide what I'm gonna do. Do you wanna say hi? <laughs> what are you eating? Muffin. A muffin. Ugh. Who's that? That's the camera. Hello and welcome to Thursday. Uh, so it is one o'clock in the afternoon and my afternoon classes have been canceled. I'm teaching from home but uh, because it is a hurricane outside. Uh, we have canceled all classes for a fourth period, including virtual academy. I'm not gonna question, I'm just gonna roll with it. Uh, and so I'm gonna use this time since Emma is asleep and Zach is uh, needing some de-stress uh, shoot aliens in the face time. I'm gonna use this time to uh, work on this little thing. I have one more step to do with the machine. I have sewn the sleeves together and I did it correctly over here you can see that that's all seamed together and I just need to hand sew out the edges together uh, but on this side somehow I managed to get it all twisted up and it was all kinds of wonky uh, so I had to pull it apart and at that point I decided I should go to bed uh, so I did and now I'm gonna do that one last piece of machine sewing here and then I need to hand sew down on the inside all the way around the lining and hand sew down the straps uh, and then and then hem it and then it's done uh, so it's a pretty fast project the nice thing about having a pattern that you know fits you and you like is you don't have to faff about with it uh, you can just do the thing and I know someone's gonna have a question 
this dress right here, up here, that one, is one that I wore and my grandmother made it for me. Uh, so we had it out so that Emma could potentially wear it to holiday family photos, but we're not doing that anymore. That's no longer a thing. So here we are. I have to figure out how to clean it because there are some stains in it from where it got stored uh, and moved several times since I wore it when I was we, obviously was a long time ago. Uh, so I have to figure out how to, how to clean it appropriately. Um, that's why it's still hanging up there and it's not back in her closet because she shouldn't wear it because it's stained. Uh, but anyway, I will check back in with you later. And we're back and I've got the straps sewn together. I did that hand sewing while I was in a meeting and then I'm thinking about this pocket situation. I am thinking that what I am probably going to do is I am probably going to take this piece of scrap material and create two patch pockets maybe with some uh, a facing at the top so it would be like a rectangle up top here and then a rectangle of the pocket and fold the edges under and then just top stitch that baby on the skirt where I feel like it needs to be. Uh, this has two advantages. The first one is I don't have to cut into my fabric to figure out how the heck I'm going to put the pockets in because there's no side seam, uh, which is normally where I would put the pocket. And I know there's a way to do it. I just don't want to deal with it because this fabric frays really bad. And right now I have one seam that's exposed in the back uh, and I'm just going to fold that over and hand fell it down so that it doesn't fray because there is literally nothing worse than having your fabric fray like nothing else. And it's really kind of a pain in the patigus. Um And I don't want to have to deal with that around pockets. And then the other thing that it has going for it is it gives this skirt, which is kind of busy, uh, just a little bit of something, something to break it up. Um, and it means that I can go watch some costume while I hand sew the lining in, which is really what I want to do right now. So that's what's going to happen and I will deal with the pockets tomorrow and we're going to see if we can get this dress done in a week. Emma didn't nap and when she doesn't nap she's prone to night terrors. So that's what we're dealing with right now is night terrors. It's great. Um, we'll, we'll see. Uh, I'm going to try to talk through what I'm doing with the dress real fast and then go help Zach because yeah all right so dress lining is done it's sewn in it's not super flattering on Daisy but as I've said she and I are not the same size the hem still needs to be done but honestly it's on a selvage edge so I'm not super worried about getting it done right now uh, I have to take care of the back seams because those need to be done and then I am currently working on pockets. I'm going to go with a patch pocket situation, as I think I talked about. So here I have two pockets that I cut to rectangular shape. And I'm going to attach the white bits on the top, fold it over so that that edge is finished. And I'm just going to zigzag stitch these three edges, zigzag here and then fold them under doo -doo, and top stitch it on there. And then there will be a nice little white strip on top that's the accent uh, that'll break up some of this uh, wildness, because it's pretty wild. Uh, and that's where we're gonna go. Um, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll see how far I get before I fall over. All right, pockets are made and pinned on the dress, but I am going to bed and I will sew them on in the morning and then I will see how they look. 
Good morning. So it is Saturday morning. It's about 7 a.m. I am brewing coffee in the other room. It was a long night. Um, Emma continued to have uh, night terrors. They, they weren't even full-blown night terrors. She just would wake up crying and like not be conscious um, and then need to be consoled for like 15 minutes with someone laying on her floor. Um, so they weren't as bad as night terrors, but they kept happening. Zach and Emma are both still asleep. I have snuck downstairs to make a very large pot of coffee and to sew the pockets on the dress. So hopefully I can get that done and we don't have any more meltdowns today. Uh, yeah, I will check in if I'm able to finish this before Emma wakes up. Mmm, coffee. Mornings like this make me wish I had peppermint mocha creamer. But alas, here we are. It is skim milk. Oh well. Alright, and we are basically done. We have achieved pockets. Um, for those of you who are wondering why pockets are necessary, uh, if you have a toddler, you carry lots of things, and carrying them here, which is usually what happens, is not going to work, because uh, gross. So we make sure that our pockets are big enough to carry our phones and snacks and keys and uh, anything else that tiny human might need. Uh, yeah. So I have to figure out the hem. I've pulled Daisy out away from the wall so that I can figure out how high I want this. It is long right now. Um, I am tripping over it. So that's, that's not going to work. Um, so I'm going to take it up. Um, I haven't decided how far, but like that's a selvage edge, so I'm not going to cut it because I don't want to have to do a double fold because um, I think that would mess with the, the drape of the fabric. So I'm just going to do a single fold up. <coughs> it's probably going to be a pretty significant hem. Um, and then I will check back in when that's done. Uh, oh, and I realized I found... I was looking at my scraps, right? So I've got this and this and this and that and that. And I was like, huh, what do I have enough to do? And then I realized I had forgotten that there is a mask that I am making that matches this because it is buried in there. That is my currently working on a project bin that a lot of those projects have been abandoned in favor of working on this because the intent was that I would have a new dress to wear for fi holiday family photos, which are no longer happening. Hooray! Anyway, I'll check back in when I'm done with the hem.